Now it is time to share your timeline with others. Let's look at what options are available. Let's get started by scrolling to the top of our screen and clicking on the Your Timelines link. Notice that our timeline is located under the heading Draft Timelines. Click on the Publish button to share your timeline with others. Our timeline is now listed under the Public Timelines heading. Notice the four options you have at this point. You can change the timeline back to a draft version. You can delete it, edit it, or view it. Let's click on the View button to see our published page. There are various ways that you can share your timeline with others. You can post a link to your timeline on Facebook or Twitter. However, what you and your students will use most often is the Embed Share option. Click on that button now. By scrolling down a little, we can see some new options. The first option is to click on the direct link, copy it, and then send it to people you want to share your timeline with. Second, you can copy the embed code and paste it into a web page. You can even customize the size and background color of your timeline and then click on the Generate Code button. You now have a customized code with the dimensions and the background color of your choosing. Simply copy and paste this code into your web page. There are also three other options reserved only for students who have an account with TimeToast. Students who have a TimeToast account will be able to rate the timeline of others, tag it, and add comments. By the way, a tag is like a keyword that will help others to locate your timeline. This concludes this series of tutorials on the use of TimeToast. The best way to learn more is to sign up for an account and begin creating your own timeline. As far as your students are concerned, they will be able to quickly pick up the skills necessary to create their own timelines. Just give your students the freedom to create and guidelines to help them understand what content you are expecting them to add to their projects.